Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Nightmare Culture. In this video I really want to discuss my last topic I did in a recent post which was is Dead by Daylight still the number one asymmetrical horror game or is it considered overrated? Before I get into my opinions I want to discuss what makes it such a beloved asymmetrical horror game and maybe why it's had so much longevity. I mean this game came out back in 2016 and is now 2023 so that gives it seven years of a lot of fan base where it's still very active. You can get on and find a match easily with Dead by Daylight. They're always updating, giving new killers, new characters to play as, as well as new maps. It's not just that I think that lures people in, it's also the fact that you have 39 playable characters and as well as 33 killers. I believe it's 33 now that uh, the Xenomorph has been released. The game is pretty straightforward. It's, you know, as a character, as a victim, you are trying to repair five generators. And then once a gate is unlocked, you escape that way or you can escape through a hatch. All this while you have a killer running around trying to kill the characters. Now, it is a 4v1 asymmetrical horror game. So having that variety of killers and characters to choose from... I think really adds on to its attraction of being such a good asymmetrical horror game. Now on top of that, it's not just random killers. I mean, there are some, yes, but there's a lot of great horror icons in it as well. As you get Xenomorph and Leatherface, Freddy, Michael Myers, and Pickface from uh, Saul, just to name a few. And all this while there's licensing issues, so they're called like The Shape and The Nightmare, and they have different names, still it's those characters and then they bring in a victim usually to match said film so you have Laurie Strode from Halloween and you have characters from Stranger Things universe as well so there is a ton to love about the game because it's very straightforward you have these awesome characters to choose they have three perks they can start a game with you can build that you can build your skill set basically and like I said earlier it's straightforward five generators fix the five generators and escape through a hatch or through these gates that open and just make sure you survive the killer the killer's job is simple you would think it'd be to kill but it is to pick up the victims and take them to this sacrificial hook and hook them on that and make sure they die there so it sounds great right maybe for me it is one of the more overrated asymmetrical horror games now that's not to say i don't love the game i still think it's a great game i always play it when new killers game characters come out I'm just saying as it being the best asymmetrical horror game like many people say or many people say no other game has been able to compete. Well, yes, that is a fact. No other game has been able to compete, but I don't see it as a competition. No other game really has just been able to strike the market as well. I think Friday 13th was the best one that did and obviously due to some legal issues is why that's not one of the number one best asymmetrical horror games. There was other games that I thought were going to do really well, like last year, Evil Dead. Uh, you have the Ghostbusters game. And now you have Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which I think is doing extremely well and is a great game to play. Does that mean it'll have the longevity of Dead by Daylight? Not sure. Too early to tell. But I think it is a step in the right direction on having another asymmetrical horror game that has longevity. But why do I think that Dead by Daylight is a little overrated? The fact that it is a little too simple you have only one job that is to fix five generators it's the same thing over and over again now of course every asymmetrical horror game is technically the same thing over and over again but there's at least different ways to escape different variation in games like Friday 13th you could fight back uh, last year the nightmare you could fight back text chainsaw massacre you can only really stab but it's i guess similar to fighting back there's other ways to at least stun the killer in text chainsaw massacre and there's multiple different ways to escape and I think that's for sure, for me, one reason why Dead by Daylight is not the best asymmetrical horror game. That's just one. My second reasoning is the fact that there are so many killers to choose from. There's not a lot of detail put into those characters because there's so many. So that's great by the devs to do that. But for me as a horror fan, I like it when a game is stuck to one franchise like Friday 13th and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They able to put so much detail and lore. It was the same with Evil Dead. I thought they did really good with that game as well. Now, of course, last year, the Nightmare didn't have that same effect, but because it was taking place in this high school atmosphere and there was all these crafting things you could do, that just made it such a great asymmetric horror game. I wish it would have caught on and stayed. 
So that's not my only other reason with the killers is also the fact that you can't kill. I mean, you can, yes. Yes, you can kill, but it's not the objective. The objective is to sacrifice them to this entity through a hook. I get the lore. I really do. I've dived into it when I was first playing the game. But it's an asymmetrical horror game. You need to kill them naturally like you would if you were that character, Michael Myers, Freddy, Tex Chainsaw Massacre, and so forth. So that is another reason. I would love it for Dead by Daylight just to come out with a different game mode. I'm not asking for much. Maybe just one little game mode where you change things up maybe. Just try something different. You are the, I guess if you wanted to put it into a competition format, the reigning champ of asymmetrical horror game. Now I understand it's that phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yes, but evolve it. I want to see a different game mode. I think that would probably change my opinion a little bit more. But again, it's a great game. I'm not here to bash the game. I'm just giving my thoughts and why I think it's kind of overrated. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.